Hi, it's Drew and Terry Edwards here. And one of the sort of big complaints or big questions that we get from the recruitment and search for managers that we help is how do I increase the revenue in my business? What do I need to do to grow uh, my business revenue? And if you, if we were to walk into a room full of recruitment and search for managers, so sometimes we actually do this at some of our events, and we ask, ask the room, uh, what do you need to do to grow your business? The vast majority of people in the room would put their hand up and say, more clients, I need more clients. If I could just get uh, more clients into my business, then my business would be doing so much better and I'd have more revenue. But occasionally you get people that say they need more candidates as well. But if we define a client as somebody who's actually paying you money, someone who's actually, uh, not someone who's just given you a job order, someone's actually putting money into your bank account, then really the reason that anyone would want more candidates is so they can get more clients and more revenue in. So really like the big way that people focus on, or big thing that people focus on to grow their business is more clients. Now there's no uh, problem with that per se. The only thing is, there are actually three things that you need to be focusing on if you want to increase your revenue in, the recruit in your recruitment or search business. And actually getting more clients is probably the hardest of the three. Yeah. And um, if you think about it, if we were uh, like tomorrow to just give you double the number of clients you're working with currently, you probably wouldn't be able to handle it. There's, not, there's very few businesses that can have the in, infrastructure in place already to handle uh, an influx of, uh, or a rapid influx of more clients coming into business straight away. Is that something you agree with, Terry? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, so although that seems the most obvious solution, in fact, there are three solutions that you can actually apply to your business that will literally, we're demonstrating at the moment, uh, substantially increase your revenue, which we're gonna show, show you now. Great stuff. So, the first way, as we said, was getting more clients. The second way is to increase your transaction value, or the average transaction value. So when we say transaction value, we're, we're basically talking about your fees, your price, right? So if you could get paid more for the work you're currently doing, then obviously your revenue and, and your profits would increase. So the second way, or second thing you need to focus on, is increasing your transaction value. Mm -hmm. And the final thing, of course, is frequency. So if you've got a client and let's say at the moment uh, they're giving you, let's say, one, you're, you're filling one job order a, a year, as an example, if you were to increase the frequency, and let's say you only increase that to two, completing two, two job orders a, a year, uh, you can see there's a substantial increase with that one client. If that, you can do that throughout, it's gonna have quite a, quite a positive impact on your, on your revenue overall. Can, can we give some actual examples, Drew? What we're going to do is use some hard numbers now to, to, to illustrate yeah. this. So again, this is, this is just an example. This, these numbers would translate to your business, whatever your revenue is now. If your business is doing 10,000 a year or if your business is doing 10 million a year, this formula still works in your business. So let's say, for example, uh, your business, and over the past 12 months, uh, you've worked with 10 clients, and uh, for each of those 10 clients, your average transaction value was 10,000 pounds per placement or dollars, whatever, it, whatever the local currency is, so it's 10,000. And over the course of the year, for each of those 10 clients, you, you, you uh, worked on four, you filled four placements. So if we then multiply those numbers, 10 by 10 multiplied by four, that would give us 400,000. So just to recap on this, so, we, so we, you know, we're all on the same page, you've got 10 clients, the average placement fee for each client is 10,000. For each placement is 10,000. Yeah, 10, 000, it's 10,000. Yeah. And on average, each client, you, you make four, uh, you complete on four job orders per year with, um, overall with, the, with, with those 10 clients. So they, they, you've got your 400,000. But as we said earlier, you know, most people, when they want to grow the business, they're going to look at this one uh, figure, this one section here around the clients. But we're now going to uh, illustrate um, how we, in fact, it's not just there that we're we going to substantially increase your revenue. Over to you, Drew. Yeah, so all I want to do is do a 10% increase across the board on all those numbers. So this, this time, that's, in, that's in, the, in your first 12 months of business. Let's say in your tw second 12 months of business, uh, rather than working with just 10 clients over that period, you work with 11, because we increased it by 10%. And rather than your, uh, your average placement value being 10,000 of your local currency, it's uh, what 10,000... 10, Sorry, 11,000. 11,000, yeah. And let's say that rather than the frequency being four, four placements per client, it's actually 4.4, right? So this is an average. So for some clients, it's more, some clients, it's less, but on average, it's 4.4. So then if we add these numbers, or sorry, multiply these numbers. So it's so 11, 11, 11 clients. Is that by 11? 11,000. Multiplied by 
4.4. So that's 532.40. Uh, 5, 5, 3, 2, 4. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. yeah. so all of a sudden, just by increasing each of those areas by just 10%, we've got a massive increase in the, in the revenue. And there's no one watching this video who couldn't quite easily uh, increase number of clients. They, they've got by 10% increased number of, uh, sorry, increase the average transaction value by 10% or increase the transaction frequency by 10%. These aren't, this isn't a big jump to make for any business, especially if you've got the right help. But here's where it gets really interesting. So rather than now just increasing it by 10%, we're gonna increase each of the areas by 30%. Yeah, because um, just, just, so just to recap on that, we've got something like a 30% increase there. And if you, if I come, if I came to your organisation and say, look, we're going to look to increase your fees by one, sorry, by by ten percent. So just think about it for a minute. Your fee at the moment is ten pounds a week, and you're going back to the client. You're going to give them a good reason why uh, that they ought to be paying you ten percent more. That's a thirty-three percent increase in your entire revenue. Just one more client over a twelve-month period. Just a ten percent increase there, and a ten percent increase there but it's a 33% increase in your revenue. That's, that's absolutely amazing, but honestly, we're only scratching the surface here. So here's where it gets really interesting. This is sort of, when clients come into one of our programs, this is exactly what we do for them. We help them. One of our sort of goals is, can we double your revenue? Can we double your business? And this is effectively how we do it. Rather than just focusing on getting more clients, we focus on all three areas at the same time. So here's where it gets really interesting. Rather than saying, uh, we just have got them for a 10% increase this time. I want to go for a 30% increase across the board from this original uh, number that, that we started with. So I'm just going to put 10% here so we know. And this is a 30% increase. So rather than uh, 10 clients in that 12 month period, so now we're in your third year in business, say we're going to work with 13 clients. And then rather than uh, our fee being 10,000, it's 13,000. And then rather than the uh, frequency being four point, sorry, rather four, being four, five point two. It's five point two per client. So if we add, if we multiply all those numbers, that's eight seven eight. That's eight hundred and seventy eight thousand eight hundred. Point oh, simple that quickly. Yeah. So we've very quickly just by focusing on all three areas at the same time, rather than just focusing on more clients, we've we've, we've more than doubled. The revenue in your business and one of the mistakes that recruitment search for owners make is as i said earlier is that they spend a lot of time focusing on this how to get more clients but they usually completely ignore this or worse uh actually they allow their clients to push their average transaction value down and they they allow they leave this to chance they leave the transaction frequency to chance they've, they've got no uh, processes no systems in place to uh get the current clients the clients you're already working with clients who already trust you you've got no system in place to actually uh, get them to give you more of the placements they have. But when you work on all three, very quickly, you can double your revenue. And the, the best part about this is, is that, well, one, although the revenue's doubled, actually your profits have, have more than doubled because usually if we do this, your, your, cost of op, your, your operational cost will stay the same. But the best part about this is, you can achieve these numbers without any additional infrastructure. So you don't need a bigger office, you don't need a bigger team, you don't really need anything other than what you have right now. You can do this in your business right now if you know how. Terry, does that make sense? Absolutely, absolutely sense. And but Drew had a really good point there, is that often around frequency and transaction uh, uh, value, um, many recruitment to search for owners, they leave that to chance. And in particular on transaction value, the clients can sometimes be dictating that. Um, and as Drew said, what we do is, when we, when we start working on we're going to look at these areas. There's some real simple but effective things you can do. Now, they may be simple, but the, 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 the devil's in the detail. Now, if you want to know more about this, you want to know exactly how you can, one, increase the number of clients you've got, but also make sure when you do get more clients, or even with the clients you're working with, you get them at the right fee as well. And if you want to know how to increase the frequency as well, so they, they're, not, they're not just a, a client that, that buys from you once or twice a year, you get them coming back again and again and again. You become almost their trusted advisor that they want to give all of their roles to because they know you do such a good job. We're running a free online seminar that reveals exactly how to do all this. To join that free online seminar, click the link beneath this video and we'll see you on the other side.